Okay. All right. Uh, you guys see that? Yes. All right. Yeah. So I'll be covering um, convex and then partially curve um, because it's based off of that. Um, so yeah, convex is basically a protocol that takes in curve, locks it indefinitely into VE CRV, and then uses that to control the um, gauge votes. And um, so essentially it's like a layer on top of curve that allows for, for people to get boost without having to lock up curve for four years. Um, so essentially smaller, uh, smaller LPs can, can get this boost. And then there's also a liquid market for staked curve uh, and uh, free float curve. Um, so the curve inflation is completely controlled by the gauge weight. Um, every week it goes through uh, this voting process. And um, because the longer the lock, the, the more vote weight you have, basically uh, every serious player is just gonna be permanently extending their, uh, their curve lock to four years. Um, yeah, as you can see here, um, there's a bunch of different protocols. Um, yeah, MIM got really popular and uh, ended up taking a decent chunk of the, the weight here. Um, and uh, yeah, you, you basically need a ton of curve uh, to be able to influence this, um, this vote and accumulate boost. And so yeah, convex is like pretty much dominates that space. Um, we can look at uh, some overall growth metrics for convex. So I, I like to look at TVL. Um, it's, you know, it's pretty much slow and steady growth. It's up to like, I think it's like over 10 billion now. Um, uh, volumes, um, the token itself is quite volatile right now. Um, so still in a kind of a price discovery phase. And then, yeah, we wanna see basically more people are locking up their curve um, with uh, CVX CRV. Um, also people are staking their um, convex and that the, uh, the protocol does actually generate revenues. So uh, also interesting to note that Curve uh, is multi-chain. Uh, they've deployed to um, a bunch of different uh, EVM compatible chains. So that, that kind of increases the, the whole market surface. So to make Curve a long-term holding, like we have to see why, why we think it's a defensible position and why their, their flywheel you know, can keep going. So uh, I think that basically every, um, it, it's the de facto uh, stablecoin swap protocol. So every new algo stablecoin has to create and incentivize the pool here. Um, so for example, MIM became really big through their, the MIM uh, three pool. Uh, there's like a UST one for people that are using Luna. Um, yeah, Faye has a factory pool. Um, so like, you know, every algo stablecoin uh, needs this to get, get on the map. Um, and then beyond stablecoins, right, you have the tri-crypto pool, but you also have the liquid um, staking projects. So uh, Lido has a staked uh, ETH pool. And um, yeah, Badger has various methods of wrapping Bitcoin, uh, interest-bearing Bitcoin and whatnot. And uh, yeah, recently there's even like Rook partaking in this, this proxy battle. Uh, essentially Rook had like, you know, excess treasury funds and they're debating whether or not they just want to ape into uh, Curve or, or uh, Convex, I forget which exactly, and unlock that for, for their protocol income. Uh, so yeah, you have this proxy battle occurring where like everyone just wants to buy either curve or convex as a leveraged way to obtain uh, voting power. And, and as you can see, um, yeah, convex just owns a massive percentage of uh, the locked, vote locked curve. Like there, there's just no other protocol that can, that can come close. And um, there have definitely been uh, several forks of curve. Uh, Swerve died off, um, ellipsis is kind of like, whatever it exists 
and actually uh, convex and claim the, the EPS airdrop and then savers like the Solana fork. So yeah, going into the value accrual of convex token. Um, yeah, right now uh, you lock it for 16 weeks and then you receive some rewards on that, but you're also eligible for uh, all, all the fees from the, from the platform. Um, so, and to maintain that boost level, uh, the curve is issued as um, CVX CRV, which is the, the vote locked uh, curve. So yeah, essentially the, the platform is ch charging like, uh, I think it's like a 10% off of the curve incentives of, of these pools. So like, it's a decent chunk. Um, and uh, yeah, you can either recompound the curve and then you also get, um, yeah, additional like bribes for protocols. Um, so yeah, this one is like, um, yeah, it's run up quite a bit since uh, I originally wanted to cover it. So um, yeah, I, I look at it more of like a cash flow model. Um, you can look at, you know, fully diluted valuation, uh, estimated um, revenues. So it definitely has some, some, some long-term potential. Um, and uh, yeah, in terms of the tokenomics, uh, yeah, very fair. The majority, 75% is allocated to uh, various forms of liquidity and mining curve pools. Um, and, and that's great because uh, it essentially allows for you know, a, a long and slow distribution. Uh, some people think the inflation is too high, they're gonna sell their tokens. Uh, quite early on, and uh, you know, people that just want to buy it and hold it, uh, they they can you know they have uh, they can tap into that inflation and basically acquire tokens. So uh, it's a balance. Um, some some firms mandate right is just to to farm and dump, uh, and that's a, that's okay. That's that's part of the game. So yeah. So because convex is completely dependent on curve. Uh, we do have to look at, you know, some some aspects of the curve token, uh, which is uh, it, it's a lot less volatile, um, and we can look at the intrinsic value as like a multiple of well, the intrinsic value is just the, the amount of fees that you get for staking um, curve, and then uh, you also get the um, yeah you get paid in curve, and uh, other other protocols will bribe. Uh, VE CRV holders. So um, this is a massive sinkhole. Like, yeah, the vast majority of curve is just locked into voting. Um, so even though, uh, yeah, there definitely is inflation that that keeps the the token price kind of like relatively stable. Um, yeah, there's not like an abundance of, of, of supply that can just come in and and tank it very easily. Um, yeah, so yeah, looking forward, um, you can't say for sure that like curve is going to be the de facto, uh, stable coin swap pool in whatever three or four years, uh, after inflation, um, in terms of convex, uh, I think it's a very good fit because convex itself is, is not a yield aggregator, right? They, they, they just collect a boost and, um, allocate the gauge weights for you. And uh, what you want to do with the convex token and, and the extra boost rewards is, are up to you. And um, yeah, there's no, there's no management fee. Like you're in charge is like two and 20, I think. Um, and the, yeah, so the fees apply to only the, the curve rewards. Um, and uh, actually, if you look at the, the site, um, the bulk of the rewards oftentimes comes from not just the boosted curve, um, but the, the convex and the, you know, the incentive token. So, yeah, the first strategy I would propose is uh, to use the curve uh, as a base. So you, you deposit into the platform, receive the CVX CRV, and you can LP that. So the LP re receives basically 
a decent chunk of boosted CRV and uh, CVX. And um, you can debate whether or not it's a more effective use of money to own CRV or CVX, but at the end of the day, by farming this, you just accumulate both, um, which, is, which is pretty ideal. And then you can uh, go ahead and restake that CVX for additional rewards. And um, yeah, actually, so if this curve, uh, CRV, CVX, CRV pool becomes unbalanced, uh, that's okay because you can just withdraw uh, the locked curve and then stake it on platform. So the staking uh, rewards are slightly different. Um, the composition is a little bit different. You actually get some of the three pool rewards, which can then be again recompounded. So yeah, and then the um, yeah, so the locked um, CVX that's that's only a sixteen week lock. Um, the base APR is not crazy, uh, but the juice is coming from uh, basically bribes. Um, so uh, I believe Alchemix, um, Frax, and uh, Spell have been allocating you know a certain amount of of their tokens uh, to bribe the either the you know, vote locked convex or vote locked curve um, to incentivize their pools and get more boost. Um, yeah, so that uh, that pretty much covers it. If there's any questions, uh, great presentation, Jeff. I, I just just want to signal I I, I am one hundred percent supportive of this. This is a this is a farm I've been in for months since, since it started and it's a uh, killer yield and and you kind of checked off all the boxes of uh i think like you're earning blue chip assets it's easy uh, i think there's uh it's battle tested and just because it's it's been around for such a long time and kind of has all the uh the the check boxes about like being audited and so yeah just uh not nothing else to add here but uh I, I, I love this. This is a, this will be a definite yes from me. I think my questions are just around UI basically. Like um, if we're kind of targeting uh, retail people that come, you know, straight to the Aladdin Dow uh, app, like kind of how we would want to, I guess, like expose this. I think it's a great project and great presentation. Um, but just kind of wondering about if you've, thought about like UI for this? Um, yeah, I, I would actually, um, yeah, I'd like to talk to the, the core devs about that. It, it would be like kind of, yeah, I, I think it's kind of complicated for users to come to the Aladdin site and be like, oh, I have to go to Curve and then stake there. And then I have to go to Convex and then stake there. And then I have to go to Aladdin and then stake into their vault, right? So um, it, yeah, it would be definitely nice to like, simplify that process. Out of, uh, there is an opportunity. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, oh no, just um, it, I, I don't think it would fit in this situation, but if we ever need uh, LP tokens in the future, um, which I think doesn't apply here, but if, if we ever needed those, um, we can reach out to Zapper. Zapper actually is, is all for enabling other DeFi projects to be able to to use Zaps. Um, so Yearn has used those, and that could help to simplify the the UI issues with with some of these farms. But sorry, Rodney, what what were you going to say about this? Yeah, I was just going to ask about the current APIs for like this strategy and how it's changed over time. Maybe I can answer this. The thing is that. Um... Convex is voting as convex itself is, is a bit complicated. Again, the strange thing is that the owners, the, the team of convex is is uh, has heavy influence. Many they have to, you can delegate the convex to them and then they vote. And they vote in the interest of convex, of course. So this is the reason why I think it's quite sustainable. Because that what they want, they 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 
they decide for their pool because this is this is also a pool on curve. It's not it has been a pool on Uniswap, but now they, they move to put this pool to curve. And so they vote on the distribution of the curve for themselves, of course. And this is the reason I guess they will also do it in the future because they have the most influence on this. And uh, yeah. So I the way is that if you have convex, just to, to explain, if you have convex, you'd go to a snapshot and then vote for the pool and then convex themselves, they vote for you. I don't know if it's our multi-sig, not sure how they do it. Then they vote for do for you on the curve um, platform. And this is also very nice because now I have normally a normal curve on V curve on curve itself. And then you every time you have to pay your uh, the fee if you vote for your pool. And with this, you make a snapshot vote with curve and curves as a CVX and then CVX is voting for you. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, so the yield is gonna be, um, it is gonna be quite volatile. Uh, it, it basically depends on the price of convex. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you if you believe that the, the token has long-term value, that you're willing to hold it for more than a year, um, I think you kind of just wave, ride the waves and, and accumulate it. I see. Do you have any like rough estimate of like what the APY is at like the current market cap of uh, convex? Out of curiosity, just any any rough estimates helpful. Just just wondering. Uh, I, I mean the, yeah, I, I mean it's it's really taken off. So the, yeah, the CVX pool is like, yeah. I mean this is I was I don't I'm not gonna say is you're we're gonna be at seventy percent or whatever for a while. Like I, I think, you know, we probably stabilize like. 20 or 30 percent or something yeah it's but i guess if uh, first... cvx were to go up then uh um the apy effective that you would have earned as well would have gone up as well other than instead of down i guess the the future like yield would could go down but if the price goes up after having farmed then the effective yield that you would have earned would go up is that right yeah yeah Yep, correct. And, and I can attest, I, I don't recall the exact numbers, but, but I, um, yeah, this has been, this, this has been a, a, an incredible farm, how long it's sustained. Uh, I remember 20, 30% that, that was, you know, like a baseline quite a while ago, but this is, um, it's gone up so much because the CVX uh, token, obviously the price has, has gone up so much. So uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, always going to be an issue we run into where we like we're we're probably going to dilute some yields if if we're successful like when we put a farm up uh, it's very likely that we are going to dilute certain yields but um, hopefully I, I think the the community that uses it should recognize that over time that you know that those quoted yields are are likely to uh, you know not to hold uh, given there's all these different variables that are that could push it up or push it down. Sorry, Martin, what were you going to say? No, nothing. I'm completely on your side. <laughs> no, I, I just think that the, the main risk, and we did see this with with, um, with StakeDAO, or even 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 uh, um, Jörn, had, Jörn had a similar pool. Yeah, which, Jörn briefly uh, tried to control the, the curve lock. Yeah, exactly. They made it earlier, but the, the approach has not been successful, it looks like. And now I personally also have like a curve in, in, in the Yearn pool. And the thing is, now the, the, it's totally out of balance. So um, this means that it, it won't, it, it's only the risk if somebody comes um, and is stronger than uh, convex and takes over convex. But because these tokens are locked like forever, then people will take out the, the curve again, and then the locked curve will be st stuck in the in the pool. But this only can happen if some if a stronger competitor competitor is is on the table than convex, and I don't think this will going to happen. I think the position is like un yeah undisputed. Yeah.
there nothing else from my side although questions yeah this is super awesome thanks for the presentation <laughs>